what is a child why should we go for it and what kind of attribute it has when i ask these questions in my classes people come up with various attributes in this video i am sharing those attributes and they will help us in knowing a child many of us associate a child with fast delivery many of us believes that a child helps us in delivering product customer values faster than our traditional process this is somehow related with a fast feedback approach built into a child a child tells us to do incremental and iterative development so if i put all these four things together it makes deliveries going to the customer faster how if we have to develop say 100 requirements rather than developing all 100 first and then going to the end customer and showing that this is your product will look like a child approach this problem by developing some of the value added things first and taking those things to the end customer and collecting feedback before developing the remaining part of it so it helps us in getting the fast feedback on our perception of the requirement on the customer expectation of how the product look like and if things are going in the right direction it provides fast delivery to end customer because many time you don't need to wait for all the hundred features to get ready before you start using it you can incrementally use it and that is what the incremental development is all about you can start consuming it whereas the end the other team is developing the remaining features a child also focuses on doing iterative development many time people and, and and participants get confused between what is this incremental and iterative and how it is different so incremental is, is is all about building things incrementally delivering part of the feature and customers start using it whereas iterative development is all about visualizing the solution and taking customer feedback before finalizing it so rather than making the final piece or final module we make a first lever a end to end flow or some features and we take customer feedback and we expect that customer feedback will improve the existing product existing code and with these iterations we come up with a final product which meets the customer expectation the iterative development is a planned rework development when you take the product to the end customer customer will find many issues they will provide feedbacks and many time people perceive it that we are doing rework why can't we ask all the questions once and deliver it in a one go and why to do all these iterative things the problem is customer is not aware what he needs he can only tell you once he see what is emerging from the development team what kind of product he can consume so once he see it then only he can provide the feedbacks if you don't take the feedback you may end up producing a product which may get outright rejected by the end customer so rather than doing a big rework at the end of a product development cycle it's better to do a rework while you are working it's better to plan that rework because there is no option and that is what the agile talks about fast delivery it development and fast feedback and if you do all this it results into changing requirement so agile is all about adapting agile is all about not taking the fixed path not thinking of a fixed flow of requirement not thinking of a fixed flow of a project plan it's all about that yes i think i have to reach there i go there i i look around and figure out what i should change in my process in my product in my project management planning and in my approach to make things better to learn from my first iteration or from my first exploration cycle so i can make the better plan for the upcoming one and that is why agile is all about changing requirement adaptive planning so in agile environment requirement keeps changing and rather than we, we 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 criticize the requirement changes delaying the project we welcome them because we know that the sooner we know them the better product we can make the sooner we adapt to the customer need we will be able to serve customer better and that is where adaptive planning also facilitates so what is adaptive planning feature or, or an attribute of agile 
in a child rather than making a long term plans rather than making a five year project management plan and baselining it and, and measuring all our progress against those those baseline pro project plan and, and doing variance reports we start with top level direction for a long term vision and we make a granular plan for short term durations and as we move forward we elaborate the upcoming plan and it is it is a known concept in progressive product management where we talk about rolling wave planning so agile talks about rather than making a fixed long term plan let's adapt let's adapt in our planning and do rolling wave planning now this all cannot be achieved without taking a stakeholders teams in account so agile focuses on the approach of agile of, of working with with people is it it focuses on stakeholder engagement now we are not using the word stakeholder management we don't treat stakeholder as a problematic people who needs to be managed provide some reports and if they ask something we need to tell them you need to document a change request then only we will treat it so we don't take them as a second party we we want to make them as a part of development we engage them by way of inviting them in software requirement workshop requirement workshop design workshop product demos in all those avenues we bring stakeholders along so they become part of the development process so agile focuses on making say stakeholder a part of development collaborative team in agile we don't believe in working in an environment where project manager does the resource management he identifies the task he allocates the task to the end and end developers and do resource leveling resource smoothing and give you a perfect plan no we expect all this work to be done by the collaborative team the team as a one unit need to deliver the business value they need to figure out what all is needed to be done to make the development process agile process work best for them they don't have very defined boundaries in between they are all aligned for a one goal so agile attribute is collaborative self organized self managed teams and when it comes to documentation many times people feel agile oh let's get rid of a documentation that's the first thing a one developer will say whenever we will introduce agile agile does believe in face to face interaction and producing working softwares rather than big documentations the, the the problem with the documentation is the amount of time we are spending in making very comprehensive and, and software look like documentation that amount we could spend in a working software and which can help us in getting better feedback what we could get by showing documentation so agile focuses on do the bare minimum documentation and rather than spending time there product something and show it to the end customer deliver fast collect fast feedback and that is how you develop things emergent design and internal quality so these are the two properties i would want, want to talk about now when we talk about adaptive planning delivering things fast and making fast feedback what happened to the design many of us believes that if i have a 100 feature the design has to be made for all the 100 features you can't start development till the time you don't have a baseline architecture for all the 100 features in a child team says no to it they take design as a regular activity they ensure that internal quality of the product is good the code is clean from inside but design will emerge they talk they build the bare minimum design which is sufficient enough to support the current functionality rather than speculating the future requirements better to make clean design which can adapt to the future requirements so it's all about adaptability the focus we, we satisfy customer we, we reduce the time to market by making team responsive by making team flexible by making team environment aware by making processes which are flexible to cater the business and stakeholder need and that is what an agility is all about that is what the business generation business value generation through agility is all about in a subsequent videos we will look at Agile manifesto and Agile principles which will introduce Agile in, to us in a proper terms. But this was an attempt to share some of my thoughts coming from our classroom sessions where people think about what people think about Agile.